All right, guys, what's going on? Willis here. We're back with another Withering Waves video. In this video, guys, I'm going to be going over uh, elemental reactions in this game and basically how they sort of interact with each other and how they work, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I guess let's just get started. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm going to be covering uh, Withering Waves. I actually have access to it. One of the few people on YouTube right now that have access. So what you're seeing right now is exclusive gameplay recorded by me so obviously each character has an element i know people are gonna hate this when you compare it to other games but like genshin each character has like an element um and then obviously these elements actually interact with other elements now there are some uh elements that don't obviously interact like mainly it's stuff with themselves if that makes sense but stuff like this you can see like light doesn't interact uh with fire ice doesn't interact with ice or ice doesn't interact with light and yeah, and so forth. Anyway, let me just name the elements. So you got dark, uh, light, you have wind, you have electric, you have fire, and you have ice. Uh, and these are all the reactions here. Obviously, it's in Chinese, but I'll basically just give you the quick rundown on what each one does. So the top row here is mainly the dark reactions. Now, basically what this will do, this will decrease the resistance of a certain enemy by whatever element it's mixed with. So dark and light will actually reduce the resistance of the enemy's light damage. So it will take 30% increased light damage. Uh, if you mix dark with wind, they'll take 30% increased wind damage and so forth. The electro damage, increased fire damage, increased frost damage. Now moving down to the light panel here. So the light reactions, what do the light reactions do? So the light reactions actually do a cool thing called uh, time stop. Uh, whenever they uh, obviously interact, um, they'll do this huge sort of time bubble similar to, I guess, Honkai or uh, Punishing Grey Raven. It makes this big uh, time stop bubble, which it basically time slows down. And then any enemies inside will actually take 40% increased damage from whatever element you mix it with. Uh, unlike the dark one, the dark one is only 30%, uh, but this lasts for 10 seconds. The time stop actually slows down time and it will last um, for three seconds and it'll be 40%. So um, light with wind, they'll take 40% increased damage. Light with electric, they'll take 40% uh, obviously and so forth. And each one of these are for three seconds in the actual time bubble itself. Now in the background, I'll probably be throwing in clips of basically what these look like. I did manage to record a few, but the way you actually get these reactions to work may be a bit confusing, which I'll explain after I've obviously gone through each one of the reactions. So the wind element, what does the wind element do when you mix it? So wind and electric will basically uh, gather enemies up. And basically what this will do is, so this will basically group them up and it'll basically, I think this will give you actually extra energy when you mix it with uh, the electric. And then I think for the fire, basically, it's the same thing, but they'll actually deal uh, fire ticking damage for five seconds. And then when you mix it with ice, it will deal ice damage and obviously the wind area of effect will pull them in. And it'll also uh, freeze the target in place, which is pretty cool. Now, the electric, when you mix electric with fire, this will deal high fire and electric damage, similar to electro and pyro in Genshin. It'll make like an explosion. When you mix electric and frost, it will deal high ice and lightning damage, similar to the previous one as well. And then for the final reaction, you have uh, fire and ice, and this will deal huge fire and ice damage. So I think this is the most bursty reaction is ice and fire together. I did manage to actually get this off so you can actually see the effect it actually does probably on screen in a few seconds but yeah that's pretty much the reactions now how do you get the reactions to actually work now it is a bit different than obviously genshin and other games the way you do it here let me show you guys so you actually need to keep attacking a target with a certain element uh over and over again here so here we're going to do it with our light character here you can see in the bottom there the bottom left you see like down here in the left you can see after I attacked, oh, I'm going to die. You saw, you saw after I attacked, the bar filled up. So let me attack again now. Oh God, this is not good. Let me attack this one dying. There you go. You see how it's like active now? See in the bottom left, it's like active. The element is active. 
all you have to do from this point on to get that applied to an enemy is basically just attack an enemy. So you, it does give you a limited amount of time. I think they made it this way so you don't do reactions over and over again. So there you go. That's applied like that. And then you can switch to another element like wind. And there you go. We did the wind and uh, light element, which makes the time slot bubble. But that's essentially how you do the reactions. Uh, you need to attack to build up the meter there. So as you can see, we attack with our wind character. It'll build up the uh, wind element in the bottom left. And after you've like defeated enemies or basically just after you've attacked enough, it'll give you that, uh, that particle that you can then use to make the actual elemental reaction. So it is a bit different. You don't just have to mix two elements. You do have to attack for a bit and obviously build up that bar. Otherwise, you'd just be doing the reactions back to back, right? Which I guess isn't too bad, but it seems like the reactions in this game are really powerful. Um, yeah, that's probably why they put it on some sort of like cooldown. So you can't just do them uh, back to back. Um, but yeah, that's essentially it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's my best explanation I can give for the uh, elemental reactions in this game. Um, but yeah, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. I'm going to bring you guys more Withering Waves videos over the next few weeks. And hopefully we'll have some more news soon. So this has been Wallace Gaming, guys. You can join the Discord as well. We do have a channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next